So what is going on dammers, my name is Meho and welcome to your third Angular tutorial. Angular 6, basically it does not matter, Angular the same as Angular 654, whatever you want. So in this tutorial, what we're gonna do is take a look at the overview of what we have done uh, about the file structure and a little bit concepts related to little things we're gonna see in those files. So let's get started. So in this video, we're gonna cover some of the things like file structure, then how Angular actually um, enters into your application, actually enters into your source code, how browser sees Angular. Then we'll see how Angular is bootstrapping then um, we'll come to modules, something known as modules, which is the core foundation of Angular. Then decorators. Now, I mind you that we're not going to go a lot deep into these things right now because it may overwhelm you. But we're going to come to these stuffs later on in the code because they are very important to um, fully understand. Okay, so um, yeah, let's get started. So you can see that I have my code already in place. And if we take a look in the file structure, you can see it's quite messy actually. If we even remove node modules folders, there are so many things going on in source folder, assets, environment files, um, some TypeScript files as well. TypeScript is pretty much just JavaScript only. It's the enhanced version of JavaScript, a better one. So um, you don't need to worry about that if you don't know what TypeScript is. Then what we have is some sort of configuration files and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we do not need to understand each and every file right now. We're going to um, understand all those files as we move along with the series and do things which require those particular files, those particular set of files. And uh, yep, so starting from the top, we can leave this E2E folder. This is just for testing. We're going to um, probably never use this. At least in the series um, then uh, inside source folder what we have is this app folder now this app folder you can see that it consists of component.css file which is blank HTML file um, then there's spec file which we can leave for now then there's a TypeScript component actual file which consists of a decorator we're gonna come to that soon and then a module file okay so um, so far looks kind of simple we have a module a module basically is just a way to split your code into some independent um, files which actually mean something on their own for example a module in your application could be for example if, let's say you're creating a YouTube downloader then a module in your application could be a module which um, let's just say fetches the downloadable links from some sort of API, right? So that module can function on its own. So you can separate that piece of code and you'll call that thing as a module. So you can use that particular module in um, some other application. For example, you can use the same module as um, a part of a mobile app. You can use the same module as a part of, um, let's just say, a desktop or web application and so on. But um, here, what we mean by module is basically just splitting up the code into um, smaller pieces so that it's easier to organize right so this is the module file which is the app module which is the root module which is required a one at least one module is required in angular then what we have as our entry point is this index.html file and actually this main.ts is the entry file right so um, what this index.html file is uh, pretty much you can see that it just consists of basic html what we have here but with the exception that we have something special here app root now we have this app root what it does is that it gives angular a place to start working so whatever angular do it would do inside this thing so app root just gives it a, a place to start working Right, so um, then we have this main.ts file, which is pretty much the file which actually 
initializes your angular project right so if we take a look at this main.ts file then what we have is that we are importing a bunch of modules here from angular platform itself then we are importing the app module which we need to import because we need to bootstrap this now bootstrapping pretty much just means you're kickstarting it you're initializing it so if the environment of production is true which is the environment file now this would run when your angular project is running in um, say production mode because then angular needs to perform certain optimizations because it's running in production not performance matters not code clarity right so if that's true then we just do some performance boost then uh, we are uh, bootstrapping the application with this root module you can name this whatever you want but it's a convention angular cli gives you app module so we, we're gonna keep it that way all right that is done and then what we have is uh, um, main.ts is done polyfills is just um, some polyfills for older browsers you do not need to worry about that polyfills just means that if the browser does not support a particular functionality which is provided natively by the javascript engine or by the browser then polyfill would uh, will be the javascript code which mimics that particular functionality so um, it's not required for us then styles.css is just a global style sheet file test.css we can leave for now and these are some configuration files okay so if we take a look we are done with this file structure thing we are done with the entry point of application which is this main.ts file right we bootstrap our application with this app module this app module has declared app component as one of its component now again we're gonna come to components later on in the series but what components really mean um, um, what they mean actually is that you can think about components like let's say you have a page then um, let's say let's say you have an app a mobile app then in that app you have a header right you need a header on every activity or every page of your mobile right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna separate that into a component now that component is reusable so basically the use of components is to make code reusable so if you have a piece of code which is um you can repeat a view a view which you can repeat a lot of places can be used as a component so right now we're just making use of this app component as the main component and uh, all the components goes into this declaration so we're gonna talk about this decorator in very deep um, later on the series but right now just remember this ng module is the thing angular depends on so this is the main thing and we have all our components but we bootstrap our application from this app component so if you understand the flow main.ts is the main file we bootstrap our module module bootstraps the component component runs this html file through this template url here and includes these styles listed here and acts on the selector which is app root which is exactly what we have in our index.html file here right so everything i hope everything makes sense till now and the next thing what we have is that uh, we have covered bootstrapping here we have covered modules here we have covered decorators not really but decorators what they are is actually they just provide a detailed information to um, the class or um, that is kind of a very vague definition we're gonna come to um, what decorators exactly are in ES7 later on but for now you can just assume decorators to be something which decorate your class which provides some additional information but does not change the raw information of that particular class or function or whatever you decorate it with right so you can see right here component decorator this com this decorator is decorating this class right here it's not changing the class it's decorating it we're gonna come to that later don't worry if you don't get it right now so yeah that is pretty much it for this tutorial and uh, 
in the next tutorial we're gonna probably see about decorators only because um, I have seen a lot of people are confused about what exactly are decorators there's a vague definition of decorators going on in the market that they're just used for decorating we're gonna go deep into what exactly these decorators are and how to actually work with them not only in angular code but in your regular javascript as well so that's all for this one and uh, see you then in the next tutorial and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications